our culture is so obsessed with avoiding the friend zone with somebody that you're romantically interested in that we don't take into account that dating somebody or being in a relationship with somebody is by no means a way to avoid the dreaded let's just be friends speech. And in order to discuss this issue, the idea of being friends with somebody that you're actually dating, I looked for a dating coach and ran into Julie Spurrer. Now she's been coaching people for over 20 years and she's also the author of the book, The Perils of Cyber Dating. And we discussed the issue of what it means to be friend zoned by somebody that you're dating. I've spent my life pushing myself to be the strongest and now I learn there's a power level I'll never reach on my own. And I hate that. Before we talk about possibly getting friend zoned by somebody that you're dating, let's define what the friend zone is. What exactly is it? Well, there's, there's two ways to be in the friend zone. One is on your way into becoming a relationship when you're just hanging out as friends, maybe as groups of people, and you sort of feel something for that other person but you're not sure what. So you're in the friend zone or you're in a flirtationship, something in between a relationship and friendship. Mm -hmm. And then the other, of course, is no one wants to hear those dreaded words. Hey, I think we just need to be friends or mm. can we just be friends? I mean, that's that, that's just, oh, that hurts so bad. Mm. So when that happens, typically someone isn't feeling it for you or they're confused about the relationship status and they don't want you to hate them. They don't want you to dislike them. So they'll say, I don't really see this relationship going anywhere, but I'd like to be friends. Mm. So you've asked the person out and they've said yes, but you're not done yet because you're not in a relationship with them just yet. What are some signs that a particular date is thinking about or is planning to put you in the friend zone? Well, if you're dating someone casually and you haven't gotten intimate or you're just hanging out and you're just not seeing each other that frequently or especially not Friday and Saturday nights, mm -hmm. weekends are sacred, mm -hmm. then there's a possibility that you're being moved to the friend zone. The other thing is if you have a relationship with someone and they send you a cute good morning text every morning and they check in with you during the day and they say sweet dreams and a text message at night and those text messages are happening less frequently, somebody's pulling away and they may be headed towards the friend zone. Mm. Okay, so let's say your date uh, is losing interest and they've made that clear to you by talking to you about it. Is there a difference between your date saying let's just be friends and I don't want to see you anymore? There's a huge difference between I think we should be friends and let's break up. There, the I just want to be friends part is sort of in the middle and it leaves the door open. Maybe somebody's met someone else and they're not ready to let go of you right away. So they might say I think we're probably better off for friends or at least at this point I'm really not sure what I'm looking for. But I'll tell you, when someone says that, they're sure that they're not looking for you at that moment in time. Yeah. So let's say this person, this date, hasn't given you a clear sign as to where they want to go. They're giving you mixed signals. How does that feel and how do you handle that? When someone's sending mixed signals, it's crazy making. Mm. You never know whether you're in a relationship one day or you're not the next. Well, I truly believe it's great to be in the moment and live in the moment. If if you're seeing somebody like two Saturdays and then they disappear for three weeks, uh, that's a bad sign because chances are they actually are dating multiple people and they're just sort of, you're in rotation. Mm. Do you have any other thoughts about the friend zone and, you know, the issues that come with it? Sometimes someone ends up in the friend zone because they actually don't even realize that the person that they have a crush on actually likes them as well. So if they feel like they just uh, isn't going anywhere, Sometimes you just need to step it up and tell the person that you're friends with and that you have a crush with that, you know, I think I'm having feelings, I feel something for you. Um, I'd like to see this become more than just a friendship. I hope you feel the same way. What do you think? And then you might be surprised. Perhaps they were feeling the same way too and they just didn't want to deal with the potential rejection and lose the friendship. The technical issues that I had in this episode were frequent and there were many. I had audio issues, you heard the static probably. Couldn't show my interviewee's face, when in this case the interviewee was Julie and I've had that issue for a lot of my recent episodes that has to do with an internet connection. Um, 
being unstable, but um, you know, I'm working on those issues and I really want to thank Julie because she had to deal with them and in spite of that, we're still willing to do the interview. So um, really thank her for that. And moving forward, I'm trying to minimize all these issues as much as I can to give you the best product that I can possibly give you. So, you know, bear with me and thank you for watching. Um, if you like what I do on my channel, go ahead and subscribe. Um, you can also watch my most recent video right here, an interview that I did with professional poker player Maria Ho. Um, she answered some of my questions for her about poker and advice for upcoming poker players via email, and I put her answers in a video, which again, you can see right here. Um, thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.